Well, good evening. Nice to be here again. I um, thought I'd make a little update, or not really an update, but I've had a request from Russian Quill to make the windmill kit, the double windmill kit. You know, I said if our new illuminated magnifier came by the time we finished the last two buildings, the two houses, then we would carry on with the horses, which is what I plan to do. But then Russian Quill was saying, um, shame about the windmill, it keeps getting pushed to one side. Can you can you sort of do the windmill? So I will defer the horses for a little bit and I will do the windmill kit for you. So what I thought I would do is I would just open it and just put that there. Check it out and show you sort of how much is in it and what the bits are like. Apparently this kit Double O stroke H O scale plastic kit. How long have, how long has it been since I've heard that? Double O stroke H O. Used to hear that all the time when we was kids. Double O scale. Now it's everybody says twenty millimeter now or whatever. But this kit is made from. I don't know if you can read that or not, but it's made from recycled plastic, which is nice. That's a nice thing. This is our sheet of instructions that you get with it. So this is a type of windmill this is, is a post mill. It would have had a central post going up through it on which the whole lot swiveled so you could turn the whole thing round Richard Seagulls so you could turn the whole thing round to get the sails to face the wind rotated on a post going up through it hence the name post mill this one they've painted and you see that at the bottom white, green and then sort of brown. I decided I'm I'll be looking at pictures online of post mills. I'm gonna do that bottom brick red and the rest of it sort of dark either very dark brown or black and the sails white. That's what I thought I'd do. So this is our recycled mill. Nice detailing on the pieces, I have to say. Tiny, tiny little bits of flash. Nothing. Nothing that we can't cope with at all. Yeah, detailing looks nice. Not sure what that piece is. There's a lot of flash on that, but they just cut that off. So there's actually not a lot of pieces to this. So this isn't going to take me long to do this at all. And if we do this right, the whole thing will move around as it should. And the sails will move as well. So it'll be a fully it will be a fully functioning mill, but it'll it'll move and, and the sails will go around which is nice which is nice nice detailing on the doors there you can see how to see that it's not a good thing for making a movie on a, an iPhone it's not really a good thing ah you can see it there now nice detailing on the doors a bit more 
detailing on the there you go detailing on the sails there you go and the ladder to get up into the mill so all in all very nice little kit um, I see any problems with this at all what I thought I would do is spray prime it I think that's the easiest way because the pieces are quite large pieces I thought I'd spray prime it some car primer um, I'm not overconfident spraying with spray primer I always tend to worry that I'm going to spray too much on and lose the detail and stuff I think there's a knack to it isn't there spraying primer I think there's a knack to it um, but we'll give it a go anyway and like I said we'll paint the bottom brick red and so on and so forth. what I thought I would do is for a base I would use this which is actually a cake stand it is is one of the tiers for a wedding cake ideal for a um, command stand if you want a load of command figures these are ideal come in different sizes and come in square as well as round quite thick so it's not going to warp when you put the filler on it for the ground and it's so a foil covered, so that's going to stop the liquid from the foil, from the foil, from the filler going in and warping it. And I thought, so this is the sort of diameter of the mill. I thought I would sort of put it sort of off center like that because in one of my boxes, I knew I had this. I have a little pack of farm accessories, which I will, um, where is the bag for that mill, there it is, I'll just quickly put these mill pieces away a minute, then we'll have a look at those um, farm accessories, I must have bought them a year, a year and a half ago I guess, I knew I was going to um, need them at some point because I still have the old Waterloo farmhouse to put together in fact I've got two of them to put together not that we're going to use two, two of them but I do have two of them but I thought I would be needing these farm accessories at some point So we have um, a couple of wagons, that's a sort of hay wagon, so I think we'll use that one. Um, I assume this is supposed to be a pile of hay or something, I don't know, but you know we'll find something to put in the these little barrels or something um, one or two horses there um, even give you a little pitchfork um, there's a figure there like a, almost like a medieval type figure but I guess we could use that figure as Miller or something for the for the windmill. That's very interesting. A um, couple of I don't want you to use them for logs, tree trunks. I don't know. There's another guy that sat in one of the wagons, and there's boxes. Ah, these are ideal. Look at these. Look at these. 
little sacks, little sacks. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six sacks and some barrels. <coughs> Excuse me. Six sacks and some barrels. So that's great. We can put them in the wagon and then we can stick that on the baseboard next to the mill. So that's the idea of it anyway. So very good. Not a bad little accessories pack. Um, not over keen on the plastic on this. Very Almost sort of spongy plastic, I mean it's almost like drop it, almost like sort of bounces. Funny sort of plastic, I wonder whether this is recycled plastic or something, I don't know. But that's it anyway, just a quick update, what we're planning to do. So we'll clean the flash off those windmill bits first, and then we'll Spray prime it, get some colour on the bits before we put it together. So that's our request. Sorry if I'm talking a bit slow, it's late night, I'm tired, I've had a trying day. But that's our next project, we'll defer, defer our horses and we'll quickly make up the windmill kit. Um, to keep you all happy. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.